welcome folks. In this tutorial I'm going to go ahead and share some Windows 7 quick tips for IT professionals and power users. The first tip that I'm going to get started with is uh, keyboard shortcuts. As you can see there are a number of applications in the taskbar down below. If I wanted to go ahead and open any one of these uh, applications that are pinned to the taskbar, I can just simply hold down the Windows key and press the corresponding number. So for example, if I wanted to run Internet Explorer, I would just hold down the Windows key and press 1. Now if you just want to go ahead and add an application to the taskbar, you can pin it to the taskbar simply by just dragging it and dropping it on the taskbar. And there you go, Firefox is now pinned to the taskbar. And to remove it, you would simply click, drag, and it will ask you, give you two options. Do you want to fire up Firefox or do you want to unpin the program from the taskbar? To unpin the program, just simply go ahead and click on unpin this program from the taskbar. Now if you're an IT professional providing support to family members, clients, uh, and maybe even friends, the Problem Step Recorder or the PSR might be the best tool to record user activity. This program captures screenshots of what the person is doing. Let me show you what I'm talking about. In order to fire up PSR, go ahead and click on the Start button and then type in PSR. You'll notice that a recording bar pops up on the screen. On this taskbar, go ahead and click on Start Record when you're ready to record the activity or log the activity of the person who is using the computer. Like so. I'm going to go ahead and click on record and now you can see that it's recording and you can also see the red button blinking at the bottom right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the computer. I can go ahead and click. You'll notice that it also registers all the clicks. I'm going to go ahead and open up Explorer, maybe browse to a different drive or browse to a different directory and, uh, and now I'll just go ahead and click on stop record. What you'll notice is that it bundles up everything in a zip file. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this file in my folder and I'm going to call it PSR. I'll click on the Save button. Now if I go to Windows Explorer and look for the file you'll notice that it has created a file called PSR.zip. Everything is zipped together as a package and you can just go ahead and email this file to the person who's trying to resolve the problem for you. What's in this zip file? Well, if you want to go ahead and open this zip file, you can extract the files. Everything is recorded as an MHTML file. So if I just go ahead and double click, you'll notice that all of the steps that I have done, all of the clicks that I made were registered and the screenshots were also taken at the same time. So this is a great tool that will help you troubleshoot problems on computers where you don't have access to remote desktop.